Hello, I'm Atu Jimmy, and you're watching Hornbill TV Spy Mid 9. Now, news in details. After some members of the National People's Party declared mass resignation, the NPP Nagaland State today called a press conference in Thaika in Dimapur to clarify on the same. At the press conference, where the state party president, Dr. Andrew Ahoto, was present along with Sushil Haidron, National Secretary and PP and other party members also said these are the dissidents group who was hovering for the past one year to deteriorate the party and wanted to take the position of the president chair and they were going behind them having signature campaign in every district. He also said that they were supposed to be expelled. Let's have a look. NPP party in Nagarin is doing very good at the moment. Day by day, a lot of I mean, uh, energetic, dynamic youths and you know, many of the academicians of Nagaland, they are, they are joining us and they are, likely join, they are likely to join in the future also. There is a lot of, I mean, what do you call it, uh, the, the uh, so-called uh, likings of the party because they know that NPP is a one party in the entire Northeast and also recognized as a one of the, you know, the national party from the Northeast for the first time. And then, in, unlike other party, NPP, though it's a national party, NPP is, I mean, very, I mean, what you call, uh, sp uh, specific about the Northeast issues. And, 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 the, and always when we, you know, think about our, you know, day-to-day -day politics, we always prioritize the Northeast, I mean, Northeast in, 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 in overall. So that's why even we have a slogan, you know, every time we talk about NPP as a, you know, united notice, one, you know, one voice. And these are the things we, NPPs, you know, because of that, what is happening in NPP, you know, you see the recent uh, election in Manipur, we are the second largest party next to BJP in Manipur. NPP having a big heart always does, does not leave any, uh, any bad images. So what they did was they said, okay, we'll leave the door open for them if they want to reconcile. So that is how it was done. But in spite of all that, they tried to take a wrong stepping of defaming the NPP. But we are here very strong. In fact, we have gone to every district. And recently, we just came from Kipri. We could see that the new district president, who is not even installed about two months back, he has come out with hundreds of supporters. In fact, we have more than 300 uh, people in Kipri who were in support of us. So also this was the seventh leg. So we have been visiting all the district in big, uh, what you call volume, people had turned out and the seventh district we just finished not even a week back. So we can see that our NPP is growing very well and uh, this descendant group, they knew that they were being sidelined and they didn't want to take, <coughs> probably they were feeling awkward that they may be sent off, which we do not do so. Okay, we always take it in a family member, as we call it, NPP family. So this is how it went, but they took the wrong stepping. But it is to be made sure that they, what they claim of 80%, it's a big joke, I will say that. I mean, they, they didn't have any other figure to be thinking about because we have all the rank and file of every, uh, in, in principle, in records, in signature, we know all the members across our state. So what they all claim that they make is actually quite a mockery on themselves. So if they went to walk out, they could have walked out in a peaceful manner, but also the performance was very bad. In fact, Mr. Lima, who was claiming a very big high toll about his being the National General Secretary or the Secretary Organization, he did not do any work actually when he was in our time. Not defaming anybody but in actual because I was then the still the president and he was my secretary so I know what work he has and what capacity he has so he was given in charge of Carby along but Carby along miserably failed under him not even one MLA came out and this time also the autonomous council not even one member came under his leadership and he was given the in charge over there so that really proved that what kind of leadership dynamism that he was following up. So we could see everything and also there were other uh, members who have been actually poisoning the mind of many. They are one of two of them actually in the party. We were hoping that in the 2023 election we'll be having some potential candidates from various districts 
and we are hoping that we will have enough ambulance next time. And so this is our hope and we are working on it. Now we can work with peace and harmony. And we are very happy actually the entire party is rejoicing that they have left because they were the main obstruction, you know. They were the thorn in our legs. So we are very happy that and we are very, very grateful to God because everything happens for good. And that's now we can work in a peaceful way. And we are doing very well in many aspects actually. Many people are having uh, appraisal about us and we are working with sincerity in spite of no MLAs or no ministers at hand. The Supreme Court on Wednesday said the floor of the House is the only way to settle all issues that have entangled the politics of Maharashtra following a rebellion by Sena leader Agnath Shinde, leading to a survival crisis of the Udav Takri led coalition government. The Apex Court made the statement while hearing a petition filed by the Maharashtra government challenging Governor Bakat Singh Koshiari's order asking the Chief Minister to prove his majority in the floor of the Assembly on Thursday. The matter was mentioned before the Apex Court by senior advocate. Abhishek Manu, Singh V for an urgent hearing by evening. A vacation bench of the SC headed by Justice Surya Khand and also comprising J.P. Parivala said their understanding is that the floor of the house is the only way to settle all issues. It added that court will deal with the petition on disqualification of MLA separately. Singh V arguing for Sena's chief Chief Whip Sunil Prabhu earlier complained against the supersonic speed of the governor in ordering a floor test. He said two NCP MLAs are down with COVID, while two Congress legislators are abroad. Heavens won't fall if the floor test does not take place tomorrow, he said. Singh V said it would not be proper to pave the way for a floor test while tying the speaker's hands. Either allow the speaker to decide the disqualification proceedings or defer the floor test, he said. Rebel Chief Sena leader Ignat Shinde on Wednesday said that he and other dissident MLAs will arrive in Mumbai for a floor test to be held in Maharashtra Assembly tomorrow. Shinde and the other MLAs who had been staying at a hotel in Gohati Hotel for over a week now following a revolt within the party visited the Kamkia Temple here for the second time today. This comes after the Maharashtra governor called a special session in the Assembly tomorrow for Chief Minister Udav Thackeray led government to prove its majority. Rebel Sena MLA Kula Brau Patel that people are with them and they will win the floor test tomorrow. There is no need for worry, Patel said. According to sources, the MLAs will head to Goa where they will be staying today before moving to Mumbai tomorrow for the trust vote. As many as 70 rooms have been booked in a Goa hotel, sources said. A spice jet flight is en route to Guwahati to take all rebel chief Sena MLAs from Guwahati to Goa today. Earlier, a spice jet flight had taken the MLAs from Surat to Guwahati by a special charter flight. A two-day training for district election officers in connection with the conduct of general elections to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly 2023 began today in the conference hall of Commissioner Officer in Kohima. Nagaland's Chief Electoral Officer V. Sushank Chekhar said that training program was initiated through the Election Commission of India for the elections scheduled to be held in the early part of 2023. He said that the Election Commission of India will be organizing more programs to help administrate. A total of nine resource persons from the Indian International Institute of Democracy and Election Management of India will be conducting training for the deputy commissioners and district election officers. We take care of these aspects. As I said, this training program probably will be a more uh, uh, area of where the resource persons will impart training. You could be more uh, in an open mind. We could invite the knowledge if they want to share, and of course, I'm sure they do have any issue or question, they will also give space for that. But subsequently, as I said, some of these issues which I just raised and many others we will discuss with you either through video conference or we could make projects. In our day to day work, we all make mistakes, the system protects us, but the margin of error in elections is very small. I'm sure you all appreciate that. So, that puts all the more burden on all of us to be extra careful, to be more aware of what we are doing. We 
for the implications become very, very serious. Eternal sweep, you all know about many of you, you have done a lot of work. Some of you have taken over charge recently. But we have seen, for example, I'm just taking a few names, Mok Chung had done a lot of work. The exact activities which are you are you are required to perform as you uh, also. Please, uh, you from this PPT, you can uh, take the name of this book and then uh, screen. You will have three bars, which is actually uh, short for menu. So in that menu, uh, you will find the media and publications. The Janata Dal United Nagaland today welcomed its high power delegation team at the Mapu Airport. Exclusively speaking to Hornbill TV, Rajiv Ranjan Singh, the National Party President JDU stated that one of main objectives of visiting Nagaland is to assist the situation of the Nagaland peace process and the peace innovation taken by Jaya Prakash in the 1960s. Singh said that if necessary, the JDU will act as one of the pressure groups to the government. Let us get some more details from our reporter, Kirk you are the main leaders of the GDU also and you are representing the main uh, party. So what is one message you are bringing to the people of Nagaland? Just we have not come here with any political motive. Just we have come here to assist the situation of the Nagaland peace process and the peace initiative taken by Jay Prakash Narayanji in 1960s. He intensively he visited remote places of Nagaland to assess the situation. And he has given some suggestions, 17-point suggestions to the government of India. But we have only come here to assess what is the latest position of the peace process because Nagaland needs peace. So, sir, um, once you, uh, you you are able to assess the, the, the situation of the peace talk and the process of the peace talk, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, as, uh, as another party, are you going to pressurize the government to take uh, certain steps for, Nag for Nagaland? Definitely. We are for the peace in Nagaland and we will do it. Whatever we can do, we will scrutinize the uh, assessment, assess the situation here and we will scrutinize it and then we will press it. Besides uh, paying tribute to uh, Jaya Prakash Narayan this time, uh, what do you think uh, the, the high power delegations are going to do in Nagaland? See, first of all, you have uh, uh, rightly said the main purpose is to pay tribute to Jaya Prakash Narayan. See, even in 2018, our party has uh, celebrated, uh, commemorated 116th birth anniversary of Jaya Prakash Narayan by inviting the deputy chairman of uh, Rajya Sabha, uh, Harvan Singh <coughs> Ji. So this time also, this uh, high power delegation is coming uh, for the main purpose of honoring Jaya Prakash Narayan. However, besides this, the team also will go to uh, AZ Pizzo's grave and lay rates as a respect. Uh, since he's uh, regarded as the father of the nation, the GD also respects the Nagas. And besides that, uh, we will also will, will be meeting uh, with some of the prominent uh, civil societies. And then uh, accordingly, we will take uh, a breast of what is happening with the Naga peace process also. So what are your plans after uh, gathering collections of the process and the things going, out, uh, going on about in the uh, peace process? process what uh, what are you going to do about that see at the very outset Jai Prakash Narayan is an ideologue as well as the founder of the GDU he has already made it clear that Naga solution must be found therefore we are also of the view that Naga solution must be found but how it is found where is the where are the hitches we want to know so after meeting with the civil societies I'm sure our high power delegation will be in a better position to take a call on this very issue so any tentative you know numbers of candidates who will be coming up from this uh, GDU site well as of now we are doing our survey our master plan is clear 
And so far as uh, mapping is concerned, we are very hopeful that you know a uh, uh, considerable number of uh, candidates will come uh, to take uh, uh, GDU symbol. Touching the Naga soil by a high power delegation led by no other than the national president itself is a, a message to the Naga people that we are interested and we are uh, uh, keen to uh, find out a solution to this vex Naga problem and if in any way the party can be of, an, of help, we are willing to do that. Jailed Nationalist Congress Party NCP leaders Nawab Malik and Anil Deshmukh on Wednesday moved to the Supreme Court seeking permission to vote during the floor test in Maharashtra tomorrow. The Supreme Court has agreed to hear their pleas and will do so today in the evening at 5.30 p.m. A vacation bench of Justices Surya Khan and J.P. Parivara was told by Advocate Sudan Shu S. Chaudhary that the two MLAs have been booked for offences under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act and are in jail. He said that the two leaders want to participate in the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly floor test scheduled to be held on Thursday at 11 a.m. The SC will also hear a plea of Chief Sena Chief Whip Sunil Prabhu Challenging the Maharashtra governor's direction to the Udav Thakri led Mahavikas Agati government to take a floor test in the assembly. The vacation bench of justices Surya Khan and J.P. Parivara took note of submissions of senior advocate A.M. Singhvi that an urgent hearing was needed in view of the decision taken by Governor Bakat Singh Koshyari asking the MVA government to prove a majority. In a major setback to all India Majli E. Itihatul Musliman chief was out in Nawasi for MLA's office. Party on Wednesday joined the Rashtriya Janata Dal in Bihar. The AIMIM had put up an impressive show in November 2022 assembly polls by winning 5 out of 20 assembly seats it contested. The 5 MLA's who had won are Akhtratul Imam, Muhammad Izar Asfi, Shah Nawaz Alam, Said Ruknuddin and Azar Naemi. Barring Akhtarul, the remaining four others joined the RJT, which is the principal opposition party in the Legislative Assembly, with 80 MLAs in the 243 member Legislative Assembly. The Hyderabad headquartered party, which polled 1.24% votes, was a constituent of the Grand Democratic Secular Front, which contested all 243 seats and had protected Upendra Kushwana as the chief ministerial candidate. Kushwaha, however, merged his Rashtriya Lok Samatya party, which was floated in 2013 with the Janata Dal, led by Nitish Kumar. Rebel Chief Sena MLA from Maharashtra have contributed Rs 51 lakh for flood relief work in Assam where they have been camping since the last week. Chief Sena Ignat Shinde donated Rs 51 lakh to the Assam Chief Minister's Relief Fund as contribution to the ongoing rescue work. The development came amid criticism that the Sena dissidents were staying at a luxury hotel in Guwahati even as parts of Assam were grappling with severe floods. These MLAs had first come to Guwahati on June 22nd and subsequently in several batches from Gujarat Surat in chartered flights. The Supreme Court on Wednesday agreed to hear the plea of Chief Sena Chief Whip Sunil Prabhu challenging the Maharashtra governor's direction to the Odaf led Mahavika Zagati government to take floor tests in Assembly on Thursday. A vacation bench of Justices Surya Kant and J.B. Pari took note of submissions of senior advocate A.M. Singhvi that an urgent hearing was needed in view of the decision taken by the governor Bakat Singh Koshyari asking the MVA government to prove majority at 11 a.m. on Thursday. The United States blacklisted 36 companies, including those from China and Pakistan, for supporting Russia in the Ukraine conflict. According to the details, the U.S. has added five companies in China to a trade blacklist for supporting Russia's military and defense industrial base. The agency also added another 31 entities to the blacklist from countries that include Russia, UAE, Lithuania, Pakistan, Singapore, the United Kingdom, Uzbekistan and Vietnam, according to the Federal Register entry. 
Of the 36 total companies, at a 25 had China-based operations, a media report said. The Commerce Department, which oversees the blacklist, said the targeted companies had supplied items to Russian entities of concern before February 24 invasion, adding that they continue to contact to supply Russian entity listed in sanctioned parties. The firm's blacklisting means their U.S. suppliers need a Commerce Department license before they can ship items to them. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on June 24 refused to give jobs to Agnivers after four years and said state's youth will be given first priority. Addressing an event in Asan Seoul, Banerjee said that she received a letter from the centre in which they urged the state government to give jobs to Agnivers after four years. They want her to give jobs to PJP workers, she said, asserting that the first priority will be given to the state's youth. <laughs> और लेटर में लिखा जो चार बरस में काम करेंगे ये लोग उसके बाद हमारा डाटा बैंक का प्राप्त दीजिए और आप स्टेट गवर्नमेंट उसको नकली दे दीजिए समझिए हम उसको बीजेपी का वार्कर को हम नकली दे देंगे हमारा नकली देने के कोई एतराज नहीं है अगर हमारा नकली है तो हमारा स्टेट का लड़का को हम देगा हमारा स्टेट का लोगों का हम जरूर देंगे जो भी हमारा जरूरत है कानून कानून मान के लेकिन तुम्हारा पाप हम क्यों ले अ कैंसर हॉस्पिटल रिमेंस inundated under flood water at Silchar town in Kachar district of Assam. The operations at the cancer hospital continued amid the inundation as it cannot be closed for a day because of cancer patients admitted at the hospital. Ravi Kanan, director of cancer hospital, said mild treatment was given to patients outside. Only those requiring serious treatment facilities were kept in sight. We used rafts to carry patients outside the premises, he said. पीड़ी बाहर कर रहे थे और जो बाहरी सॉर्ट आउट कर सकते थे वो वहीं पे सॉर्ट आउट किया है स्टेशन का फोन या जिन चीज़ों के लिए हॉस्पिटल के अंदर आने की ज़रूरत थी केवल उन मरीजों को हमने अंदर ट्रांसपोर्ट किया तो हमारे मेरे कोलीग्स ने ट्यूब लेके एक लकड़ी का तख्ता लगा के राफ्ट बना दिया दो राफ्ट हम पिछले बार एक महीने पहले जो बाढ़ हुआ था उसने भी चलाया था इसने भी चलाया है और that's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV.